In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can use Unreal Engine to upload an image that is on your PC, or download an image that is on the web, and show it in your game during runtime. So what this can be used for is, for example, if you want your players to upload an image of themselves, or upload an image as a profile picture, this could be a pretty good way of, for you to allow them to do that. So what I have here is the uh, third person map that is from the template. And I have not really done anything except for adding a few uh, small models I have. Uh, and this is just going to be for me to basically help you showcase uh, this, but you can use any models you want. This is just going to be helpful for me. So to do this and to download the image or show the image that is on your PC, what you want to do is to simply first and foremost, decide where you want to show the image. So I'm going to just go down here and open the content browser and drag in the plane I have. I'm going to just scale it up slightly like this, raise it from the ground and rotate it so we can actually see how it looks. The second thing I want to do is to simply go to my content uh, drawer again, and just somewhere in here, you want to make a material. So right click, go to material and name this M underscore test download. I'm just going to drag and drop this onto the actual mesh. And then I want to go back in here again, and I want to go into the material editor to change the uh, parameters we can use in here. So hold down T on your keyboard and press the left mouse button and you'll get a texture sample. You can also right click and type in texture and get the texture sample from here. With this selected now, you want to right click on it and go and select this uh, to be converted to a parameter. And in the parameter name up here, you want to set this to be texture. Now, it doesn't really matter what it says, but you'll remember, you need to remember what the text you write up here is going to be. Uh, then also, since uh, Unreal have done some changes to their system, you want to set this to be zero, um, just to make things a bit nicer. I'm going to plug this into the base color. And I want to select this again and just scroll down until I find the texture and I can apply any texture I want from here. Uh, I'm going to use the grid texture here that is in the game at the moment but this will be replaced afterwards with something different. I'm going to press apply and then press save and see how it looks in the game. So it seems that it somehow has been rotated. So this one is black and this one is green. So I think this may be a bit wrong. So I'll try this instead. I'm going to apply and save and then close down this material editor view because we don't need it anymore. From here on out, I want to make sure now that I can upload an image or download an image and show it up here. So you can do this in many different ways. The way I'm going to be doing it is by using the actual level blueprint. In here, what you want to do is to uh, add an event called begin play. So this means when the game starts, when this level runs, this is going to be executed. So from here on out, I'm just going to drag this pin and type in download and get the async task download image right here. And what I would then want to do is to type a URL that I'm going to be using to actually which type of image I'm going to get basically. So if I head on over to my website here and show you, uh, this is my website called Eliaswick.com. If you head over to the portfolio section and shaders, and then the post process shaders, on this page, you can find over 100 post process shaders that are available for purchase. So if you find something that you like, you can just go into the page and then there's a buy button for the actual shader. Uh, but um, in this case, I'm just going to use an image from here. Uh, so I'm going to go to fog here. And let's see, let's use let's use this one here. So I'm going to click on it. And then right click. Now I have my PC in Swedish. So uh, your equivalent would be a copy image link. So I'm going to select that. And if I just paste this into the URL here right now, you'll see that this image is going to be shown. Now you can close down your web page and just paste this in to the download image uh, node here. What we then have is we can continue from this on. Uh, so do other things. And then we have the on success. So if it succeeds, it will do something. If it fails, it'll do something different. And then finally, down here is the actual text that you'll get from, from, uh, from the download that you do. 
Now, so in this case, what we need to do is we need to assign this texture that we downloaded onto the actual mesh we have in the game. So we can just select the mesh and then right click and in the top here, you can actually call a function on the statement. So we're going to create a reference to the plane we have here. Now what we can do with this plane is we can drag from here and we can type something called create dynamic material instance. I'm just going to tidy this up and I'm going to plug this into on success. So if it succeeds, we want the material to change. And in here, I'm going to select the source material and that will be the one I made before. So it's going to be test download. With the return value, we want to actually change the actual texture and not any of the scalar values or the, the vector values. So we just pull from the blue pin here and type in texture. And then you want to select the one called set texture parameter value. From here, you want to then go ahead and type in the parameter name that you named it before. So this will be texture. And then the texture you want to assign it to be the actual value should be the downloaded texture. You will be able to see that when this runs, this image that we have here is going to be assigned to the actual texture or material basically in the game. If I compile and save, and then I press the play button here in a couple of seconds, once it's downloaded, it's going to be shown in the game. So it's super simple. And that is how, how it simply works. So to show you again, if I press here again, wait a few seconds, it's downloading. Once it's downloaded, done, and it's completed, uh, it's going to be shown in the game. And that is basically how you can do this. Now to show you how you can do this for a file that is on your PC. I have uh, navigated here over to a section of uh, images I have on my PC. I'm releasing an Android game called Bubble Pop 2 in a few weeks. So you can feel free to check that out if you want to. But I'm going to use an image here just to showcase a bit of how it works and how you can do this with a file that's on your PC. I simply find an image that you want to be showing in the game. I'm going to use this thumbnail as an example. And then what you want to do is simply go up here and get the actual image name. So this will be the full name of the image that I want. I can then go ahead and go in here. And it's important that you type in the beginning before you paste this in file colon forward slash three times. And then here you can then paste in your actual your actual path. Now I want to make sure this is looking nice. So I'll need to change the slashes so that they are forward slashes instead. I'm not sure if this is fully necessary, but to keep things tidy, this is what I'll do. Now, since this is a file that is on my PC, it won't have to download in the same way as we downloaded an image that was online. So this will be a lot quicker and you might not even see it change in the game. So again, it's changed and let's play and there you go. Here's the image and that's the one that is on my PC. Now, a good thing to note about this, if you allow your players to upload an image that is on their PC or allow them to download an image that is on the web, then they might actually upload things that are not going to be too visually nice always like profile pictures may include, you know, naked stuff and things you may not want to see. So uh, be wary that if you allow your players to upload anything that's on their PC or anything that's online, then things might spiral out of control. Anyhow, thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time. Bye.